So yeah, I've basically been going all in on this channel since way before it even made sense to do so. And in the spirit of this, I thought I'd share with you the next step of this channel and like taking this channel to another level and again, taking risks and going all in on this channel. So this is my new studio. So two years ago, one of my biggest dreams was to become a YouTuber and it had been for almost as long as I knew that YouTube was a thing. And two years ago, when I had 16 subscribers total, I decided to post a video called A Day in the Life of a Software Engineer and that was the best decision that I've ever made. And I think that my mind would have probably exploded if you would have told me at that time that posting that video would be the spark that would ignite my YouTube career. I remember how excited I was when that video got to 100 views and straight away I started dreaming. I was like, imagine getting a thousand views. I mean, imagine seeing that the video says 1K views. If that happens, then you've made a big cow. And I think about two weeks later, that video hit 1K views. And I remember because I took a screenshot of it and I sent it to my sister and I was like, look, 1K views, that's insane. And at that stage, I also started gaining subscribers slowly and I was gaining like one or two per day. And that's when I realized that these new subscribers probably want to see some programming related content. And so I essentially reprioritized my life and started pushing out two videos per week that was programming related. And two months later, I hit 1000 subscribers. So truth be told, I kind of went all in on this channel way earlier than I probably should have and way before I was making money doing it. And I remember after hitting 1000 subscribers that I was like, okay, Cal, this is it, you need to double down on this. And I did. I basically put everything else on hold, my studies, my freelance job, and just everything to focus on YouTube. By May, we'd reached 10,000 subscribers, and by June, 30,000. This was when I decided to drop out of school, to quit my freelance job, and to literally put all of my eggs into the YouTube basket. Now, one and a half years later, we're well past over 400,000 subscribers, which is just insane. And to think that there's 400,000 of you guys out there that have decided that I'm worth being subscribed to is just such a crazy thing. And like back in high school, I don't think anyone would have ever guessed that in the future, over 400,000 people are gonna watch what this like little awkward kid is doing. So I'm infinitely grateful to you for that. And I'm forever in your debt because it's because of you that I'm able to live my dream of being a YouTuber. It's just like this. It's huge, it's a complete mess, and it's a dream come true for me. I take a lot of inspiration from other big tech YouTubers like MKBHD, Linus Tech Tips, and also Joe Rogan, who's not a tech YouTuber. And the idea is to do something similar to what they're doing and create a studio here that is going to speed up my workflow by essentially having sets that are always set up and ready to shoot, basically removing any setup or cleanup time. So right now this space is like way bigger than what I need and it's a complete mess. So there's a lot of work to be done. So I have no idea when this will be even close to finished, but having a space like this really opens up to like so many new types of videos that I can make, which is really exciting. 
So what we have right now is a large space downstairs that I'm planning to turn into a Joe Rogan inspired gym and entertainment center. Redo the floors, repaint the walls, put in gym equipment and maybe even set up a climbing wall. Who knows? And the reason that I'm able to do all of these things is because of the amazing support that I've had from you guys and from different sponsors. Like for instance, the sponsor of this video, which is Privacy. Right now, we're all probably doing most of our shopping online, and I think this is only going to increase as more and more things become digital. And a really important thing to keep in mind here is to make sure that your banking information stays secure. Privacy lets you buy things online using virtual cards instead of your real ones, protecting your identity and bank information on the internet. Right now, new customers will automatically get $5 to spend on their first purchase. So go to privacy.com cal to sign up now. Because of privacy, I no longer need to run the risk of accidentally entering my banking info into a sketchy site. I can simply use one of Privacy's virtual cards. It's super easy to set up and has military grade encryption and they do not sell your information. Privacy makes their money from merchants which allows their service to be completely free for you to use. Plus they've now added an account summaries feature which makes it easier for you to create, track and stick to your New Year's resolution budgets. So go to privacy.com cal and get five dollars to spend on your first purchase. And then upstairs we have this massive open space, which is where I'm sitting right now. And I have no idea what to do with this yet. It's really huge, so let me show you just how big this actually is. So yeah, I don't know if she even saw me, but it's really huge. And up here, we also have four offices, which we've named after different programming languages. So we have Python, Java, Ruby, Assembly, and Dart. Right now, the only two rooms that are even like close to being finished is Java and Dart. And Java, you may have actually seen already if you watched my latest video on how to master Python. And so this is the Java room, and this is what it looks like behind the scenes. And then we have Dart, which has been turned into like a lounge room slash kind of gaming room, which turned out really nice. And it's like easily the best room to be in right now. And we also have storage space, a kitchen, a bathroom, and essentially everything is in need of renovation, as you can tell. And I have no idea when I'll be able to actually afford all of this since I basically spent all that I have on rent for this space. So I don't know when it will be finished, but I'm really excited about it. So make sure to subscribe to follow along as I will come up with more updates on like as this space gets built out. And also to just follow along this channel as we move into like the next chapter of this channel uh, which will be really exciting so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i'll see you in the next one